Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video we're going to be just running through our process of parting out a Lego set. Um, if you're new to uh, Bricklink, uh, you're wanting to use Lego as a way of making money, um, if you're wanting to sort of uh, get rid of your existing sets or something like that, uh, it's a great way to make money. Uh, you have to be quite patient sometimes uh, when selling Lego sets, it's not an instant money maker uh, by any means, but um, it can help with uh, excess stock that you, you may have. So uh, we're going to go through our bits and pieces and sort of just the basics of what you need to get started um, and take you through parting out one set that we've just brought in. Um, so onwards to the part out. Alright, so here we have the Stanley Bin Organisers. We picked these up from our local Mitre 10 Mega. Um, you've probably got similar stuff at your hardware store. Uh, basically they're designed to uh, put little bits and pieces like your nails, your screws and stuff like that in a garage. Um, ourselves, we've amassed uh, a few um, for our Bricklink store. Um, and we love these because they stack on quite easy, just in the bottoms here, um, and we've actually screwed ours to the wall, so in the event of an earthquake, very sturdy. Uh, we've also lifted them up from the ground and made our own walls, because when you're picking Bricklink quarters, man, it, it hurts to bend right down to some of these bottom rows when they're sitting on the floor. Um, so that's what we've done. But these here, easy as you like, um, you can pick some up uh, similar to this at Spotlight, uh, Bunnings, like they've got their own different things, it's not like these are the only ones and um, and you can't get anything else, anything will do, um, we just choose to use these ones. Uh, so we need to make a row, we need five of these and one of these, so we're going to make row X today, so I'm going to go ahead and label these in a minute. Um, also we have a label printer, some people like to print out their stickers on the printer and then just sort of take them off and label the front of their, um, their drawers. This, this can work too, um, we're just choosing to do it this way, uh, we find it a lot easier. You'll need some of these, uh, containers, clear containers, we pick these up at More Wilson's, they're very good in the sense we're quite, they're quite strong, um, some containers split easy. We find these ones very handy and useful um, when we're picking orders we use them to help separate our pieces and also when we're parting out sets which is what we're going to do today um, we put them all into different colours and, and go through that process. So we're going to do that. Um, we got these here, a small enough plastic container as you like, um, $5 at the warehouse I believe, nothing, nothing special to that. Uh, you just get a few of them just so you can um, use them for we use them for basically breaking down all the bags of a certain set, um, so then we can sort that from there. Um, but we'll go through that in a moment. And you've also got the friend set, which is the set we're going to be parting out today. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go through that. But th this is pretty much the basics and what you need to, you need some obviously some stock, um, a way in which to part it out. We're going to put part it out on this bench and also where it's going to go. Um, so we're going to go through that. So we use an iPad to go through bits and pieces, and this is Bricklink. Um, it's really easy to become a seller. Uh, basically, you've got to provide some identification and stuff like that to Bricklink. You send off an email, and you provide a photo of your ID, and provide a photo of um, you with your Lego that's existing, and a photo of pretty much you next to it um, to show that it is yours, and you're not pretending to make a whole lot of stuff up. So it's pretty easy to become a, a seller. Um, and once you've gone through that process, um, we're, today we're going to be putting in the set up into the search bar, 21319, which is the Friends Central Perk set. So here we go, you've got the Central Perk set. It brings up a whole lot of details um, of the set. Um, this is really easy to do with a laptop, computer, anything like that. Um, don't try too much with your phone because you have to record remarks and stuff like that into the details in the next step um, and that can get quite tedious when you're trying to um, you've got a tiny gadget that you're putting your details into and you've still got to work with the Lego and stuff like that so it can get, can get quite annoying I mean if you're hard up, sure but um, it's best to do it on a computer, tablet, iPad, something like that um, you've got all the details of the set 
1042 parts, seven minifigures, all those sort of things. So you want to come over to my inventory and go down to part out. And it should take you to a page that looks like this. Um, this here is basically the first page to help you uh, input your details on what you're going to do for your whole, whole entire part out. Um, when you're checking out sets, if you're going to be buying sets and selling them, uh, you can go to the part out value page over here. This isn't something we're going to go into today, but um, if you go to that page, you can basically very quickly see how much a set parts out for and not have to worry too much about um, you know, buying a set and going down the whole process of parting it out only to find out it's not going to be worth your while. So uh, that's something else uh, we might go into um, another time. But for this, for, but for today, we're just going to run through the uh, settings there. Uh, so everything's pretty pretty basic up the top. You've got your set number, uh, you've got your quantity of sets. So today we've got, uh, oh, my bad, uh, we've got three sets. Uh, parts and whole minifigures. We part out our sets with whole entire minifigures. Uh, so we're going to be using that at the moment. You can part out the minifigure parts themselves as well, which is cool. Uh, you've got include original instructions. Yep, uh, include original box. We usually put our boxes in the bin, um, so that's not something we'll be doing, but you can sell those as well um, and include the extra parts. That's what we're do doing as well. So the condition of these, you can sell used sets as well, used parts, no problems, but we're going to be going with a new set, um, and I like to put in the current for sale average. Now, um, I use other bits and pieces to make the pieces uh, at a more affordable rate uh, across the board. Um, I use a, uh, an app called Brick Stock, um, but we, I'm not going to be going through that process today. At the moment, I first put in the, the parts at their current value, and then I, I fiddle with the prices later. Um, so, yep, we're going to go down the page. Um, I don't worry about the base tier pricing too much. If you're not going to sell too much, pieces and you haven't got bulk quantities it's probably something you don't want to look into um, but I do worry about this down here consolidate um, I go with the new pricing so that that'll change all the pricing if you've got parts in your existing Bricklink store it will change the pricing of those parts that are in this set that are double ups to the ones that you've got in your store it'll make all those parts the new pricing rather than the old pricing I use this to sort of keep the stock up to date and, and the new pricing as well um, and all of that's there ready so we're going to go into submit and it'll bring you to a page that looks like this and that's uh, this here is basically a complete page you can follow up the top here as well you select set edit items verify the items and add items it's a good way to see where you are in the process but this whole page is every single piece in these sets um, it also displays so it's all in alphabetical order uh, based on um, color so black B and then you've probably got some blues um, and whatnot else and it just keeps going down um, and at the bottom you'll see uh, the instruction book minifigures stuff like that um, so that's what that is uh, you'll notice the red writing up the top you already have the same part in your inventory so this says to, that I've already parted out the set. Now, earlier in the year, I got a few of these sets, so I parted them out. So I already knew that going into this. Um, so there will be parts that I've already got in my store. Um, easy as to combine those parts into the drawers that already exist. That's one part of the process. But for the ne this next part, we're going to be opening all of the boxes and putting all of the boxes and the pieces into these blue containers to get ready to sort them. So I'm going to... Go ahead and open one box and break down what that means. All right, so here I've opened the box. Um, you've got all the bags. They're all numbered. If you've opened a Lego set, you'll know exactly how this whole thing works. You've got your instruction booklet. Slot that over there. And you got your little sticker sheet there. Some sets have sticker sheets, some don't. It's um, you know all dependent on what's in the set. Um, so we've got all the bags. This part here, move my knife. Um, I will put put these bins all out, and I'll put each individual bag into a bin, and I'll do that for all three sets. So all bag ones will be in one bin, all bag twos will be in another bin, um, and I break it down like that. So because 
when you open a set, all the parts are exactly the same. That's the beauty of how Bricklink works, um, and it's able to put all the stock of a, of a certain set straight into a store like that. Um, every single one of these sets, they've all got the same parts in them. So I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I'm going to put these bins all across the table and put all of bags one, two, three, four, all into the bins and separate the bags from each other um, for all three sets and combine them. All right, so I've finished parting out all the sets and your table should look something like this. Um, all the bags are open, all the pieces are in. So this is bag one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't worry too much if um, some pieces get in other bins from, say, bag two pieces get in bag three bin. It's not that much of a deal, uh, big deal with, with how we do things. We're going to go ahead and separate these into colors next. So it's, uh, I'm just basically making smaller quantities um, so then I can do this um, all in one go. Um, something you can do is probably sit now, now, which is one of the bigger reasons why I sit there and um, open them all up. Um, is you can sit in front of the TV or something like that um, and, and slowly part these out. Um, they are a little bit noisy. can be a little bit noisy. Um, but if you're doing things slowly and you just want to take your time, um, sitting in front of the TV doing something like this is... It's what we do sometimes. Um, it's it's very easy to do. Um, so then it makes you know the job not so uh, boring sometimes. Um, these here as well, another good tip. Plastic bags. They're very good for storing the Lego back in and sending out in orders. Uh, we don't use that ourselves, but we've seen other sellers do it, and it's a great way to not just chuck out all this plastic um, and let it all go to waste. Um, so and same with boxes. You know, we might chuck this out. The, this particular box we'll keep for an order, um, but those are great when you've got bigger orders um, and they can store stuff in them too and you can send your Lego and that sort of thing. So they they have uh, other, you know, bits and pieces you can do with the with them instead of just chucking them out. So that's, yeah, we're going to put those aside, but for now we're going to part these out into colours. Well, the first thing we're going to do is label our drawers. And then we're going to be parting these out into colours. So, um, all right, on to labelling. Uh, just a quick tip. Um, we use these drawers here um, because they stack on top of each other. They're easy enough to get at your local Mitre 10 Mega. Um, but they have another feature. Now, you've got, you're dealing with very small parts with some of these things. Um, and these have little inserts in them. Um, sometimes you can have a drawer, and we've had it for a long time, um, before we started using uh, these drawers, uh, the, the inserts, sorry, um, before we started using those, we would have some some of the pieces, and if you go through the store, you'll still find some of the pieces will have, uh, some of the drawers will have one piece or two pieces in the drawer, and it's, it's a very big waste of space. Um, so these little inserts are really great for, you know, we've chopped up just uh, an ice cream container. Thick enough to be quite solid and sturdy um, to create a divide, and you can also get individual segments. Um, you know, some people put multiple parts in the same drawer. We steer away from that kind of thing purely because when you're going to pick your orders and you get a bin or a drawer full of Lego, you've got to use more time and trying to find the pieces to get them into the order. So we try and keep everything as separate as possible. Um, and this is a great way to keep, you know, three different parts in one drawer um, and utilize that space a bit better because um, nothing worse than having one or two pieces that don't sell in a drawer and that drawer is being used up for, you know, months on end uh, because the part doesn't want to sell. So um, it's a great way to save space and save money on that storage. Um, yeah, so onwards to labeling. Okay, so we've just finished labelling all of these uh, drawers. Uh, we've gone for X in front of all the numbers because uh, we usually pick our orders in Bricklink uh, based on the remarks in alphabetical order. So we've got rows A all the way to X, which will live over here. Um, so it works for us in picking them that way. Uh, I've seen it done numerically. Uh, people just you know, from one upwards, and it's very easy to keep tabs on that, um, because obviously when you get to Z, you sort of run out of room, and then you've got to try a different approach. Um, we, alternatively, have our used parts 
starting at numerically. So um, yeah, there's all sorts of different ways in how you can store your stuff. Um, for this part out, we won't be using too much. Uh, we'll go just log in again. Um, we won't be using all the drawers for this. Um, it says in the um, when you go into the the set and you go right down to the bottom of the page. Um, all right, so it says 350 lots. Oh, so we might we might use them all. Um, but one thing we do know with this one is that we've had it before, so quite a few of the parts are going to consolidate into other drawers that already exist. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, so 350 lots. Some of these drawers will be quite small. Um, you know, I'll fit three different pieces into a drawer, so we probably won't end up using all of these. Um, but this is enough to get the set done, I would imagine. Um, so now I'm going to go through all of these bins one at a time and break them down to their colours. Um, so after I've done this whole process, everything will be in little containers and it'll all be in colours um, ready for the next part of the process. So onwards to that part. All right, and that's the end of me putting it all into colours. Um, so 50, I think there's about 50 units in this bag. I've only got about six or seven left. Um, I usually put the minifigures all in one piece each. Um, and then all the colours. And obviously, you get your blacks, your greys, and some, you know, you get your sets that have got the same colours and quite a lot of them. There's the dark green if the camera's doing the right job. Um, you've got your tans, you know, and what I'm going to do there is just put all of those pieces, like the light bluish grey, straight into one of these again. Um, and that'll help me uh, create a little bit of space because then I can stack them up in these and put them to the side and then I will start to prepare myself to get rid of the next so the next part of this um, this exercise is to get rid of all the pieces that are already in my store um, so it's reconcile all the lots that are already there um, and I'll find that on that same page before um, so I'll bring that up Right, so here's that same page from before, and if it's got the little red writing there, um, it means that I've already got the piece, and I will reconcile the lot. So how I quickly get through this process and get rid of all my lots that I've already got things on, I go right to the bottom of this page, which is the second page, you go to verify the parts, verify items, um, and this will take you on to the page that basically confirms all of the pieces. Uh, it'll take a couple of minutes to load, usually because um, there's quite a lot there for it to load. Um, but it'll put it all together um, and basically get, it comes to a page where you're verifying all your parts that you've gone through. You're saying, yes, they're all there. Um, everything's accounted for, um, you know, or you can change the quantities. You know, if you are missing a piece or you're taking a few pieces out for your own collection, that's fine too, because you can alter the quantities quite easily. Um, but then once you confirm everything, um, it'll show all the drawers that you need to reconcile into your own existing store. Um, so here it is, straight away. Um, and then it'll say, consolidate. Uh, I'll take the second one, for example. It's in drawer T32. So I'll go ahead and take all of these pieces. There'll be a large amount of them for this set, because I've already done it before. Um, and I will go consolidate that in my existing collection. Um, uh, so I'll, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, just real quick. Um, so this is basically the start of um, me reconciling my parts that I already have. So you tip out um, all the black pieces on, on the table there. Um, and it's very easy to go through and search for the piece you're after. Um, and it says on here, you know, just how many pieces you're looking for. In this situation, there's six. Um, so I can easily now um, work through this and grab all the pieces. And as you uh, take away pieces that are going back into the store, this pile will get smaller. So then it becomes a lot easier to see those, the rest of the black pieces. Um, and also in the next part of our step, we're going to go through and put the pieces that are just left remaining, the new pieces that go into the store, uh, and new drawers and stuff, and having just such a small lot to work through makes this whole process a lot faster. It works for us. There's a, there's a lot of ways that uh, people will find that works better for them because of the way they uh, their brain works through processes and stuff like that, um, and that's cool too. Um, this is, 
you know, there's dozens of ways out there that I've seen this done, but this is the way that we've fallen upon it and that works for us. Um, and it's the quickest way we find we get through these these sets. So we're going to go ahead and just um, put these put these pieces into the store. So all my uh, double ups are reconciled. All the all the parts that I had existing in my store are now in their drawers, and now it's left with all the new pieces that I have. So if uh, you're creating a new Bricklink store, this is probably where you'll start off with at this part of the process. You won't have existing drawers um, if if this is something new to you. Um, so all basically I'm doing now is putting all of these in these new drawers here. I'll start from the top and work my way down. Um, and then all the drawers I don't use, they've got my piles there. I've got uh, bins for them. Um, and then I'll be putting these up on the wall um, and, and securing them to the wall. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go through and give these all individual labels. Uh, all the smaller parts will probably be put into drawers with dividers uh, to save on space. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go through that process now. And there you have it. Uh, that's the end of the parting out into individual drawers. Um, all the pieces are reconciled in a way, and these are all the new pieces ready to go into the shop. Um, as you can see, I didn't use too many drawers, but if you're starting out as a new store, you'll probably use a hell of a lot more drawers than I did. Um, you know, you see the dividers there, they're helping save space as well. Um, but all of that's all typed in, ready to go. Um, so you'll get to the screen here. Uh, this is the verifying that all your numbers are correct. Um, that's the bottom of the screen. All you do is hit upload items. Um, and that's all in. So these are all now in the shop, all for sale right now. And same with the reconciled parts. The uh, inventory has been adjusted to include those. So the last thing to do is put these drawers away and put these onto the wall. And there's the final product. All the drawers are in. All these ones are empty, ready to be filled up. And it's all away. So that concludes our tutorial on parting out uh, some Lego sets. Um, whether you are new to Bricklink or you're an existing seller, hopefully you can get some uh, information from there. And you can also try looking at uh, some other youtube creators that have done the same sort of thing uh bricksar has one that's very good um brick arena same again very good very informative and hopefully by watching a few of these types of videos you're able to gain the knowledge you need to start your own bricklink store um if you like the content um subscribe to the channel uh, we upload weekly uh even more than weekly um We've got tutorial videos, uh, weekly vlogs, and sometimes we upload reviews as well of uh, Lego sets that have come out. So um, hit the subscribe button, uh, feel free to like our, our, our content, and um, just give some comments down below if you have your own thoughts about uh, how you part out sets, um, or whether this worked for you. Um, thanks for watching, uh, see you next time.